Hello, uh, I'm Starlight Flux. <laughs> oh, and I'm Tip Top. For God's sake. Um, yeah, um, basically we finished what we've just finished watching um, the season nine premiere of MLP. Yeah, the final season. And well, if I'm honest. We originally thought this was going to be a little bit rushed, or, you know, at least... It felt like the first half felt quite rushed, but then the second... Because we thought it was going to be over quite soon. Yeah. But then the second part kind of helped to pad things out, went at a much more reasonable pace. I had a, se I had a sense that originally they were going to have all of the villains, then realised it was going to be a bit rushed and then added the second bit at the end. Or they were going to have that whole premiere condensed into a single episode. Or maybe they were making, or maybe they were making a point about how quickly things resolve themselves normally. Yeah, I think that was probably more the point they were making there. Then they went for, you know, they they then decided to make it. Yeah, so basically, they, and this is what I was getting at originally. But when they were saying it was a bit rushed, they were kind of that was the whole point. They were trying to basically show how yeah. how easily they could normally defeat these villains. And then they threw in this little bit with the yeah. um, elements of harmony. Although what I do find interesting is one, they're bringing back an old villain. Two, they've got all introduce the... a new one. I was not expecting them to introduce a new villain this late on in the show. Well, to be f or at least a major one. To be fair, I think if they were going to, re otherwise, when else were they going to do it? Well, because if it... no, that's the point. I thought it was just going to be Chrysalis being the sort of big bad for this last season. Yeah, but let's face I it. I didn't think they were going to introduce well, an entirely I, new villain. I, here's my at least not a major. Here's one. my logic behind thinking if I them doing this right. Before what's my my main prediction is that at the end of the season or throughout the season they're going to be facing each one of these villains. But the reason why I think that it no the reason why I think well the reason why I think it makes sense is because. If they just had just one villain, yeah, it wouldn't feel like the finale to end all finale. It seems unlikely that they would go with King Sombra here and then all the rest of them together in the finale. I suspect we've had King Sombra in the opening. I suspect Chrysalis is going to have a go at some point. Tyrek and Cozy Girl are going to have a go at some point, and then they're going to face Grogar in the finale. Well, I have a feeling that if, at the moment, if they're going none of them, to do that... At the moment, none of them know Grogar is even there. Well, the thing is, what I have a feeling that they're going to end up doing is, you know they normally have a mini hiatus to make things go, last throughout the year a little yeah. bit more. What they're going to end up doing is they're going to have the one where they're facing um, Tyrek, uh, as the uh, mid-season hiatus sort yeah. of villain. Well, then, we don't then, you can have, uh, then you can have Chrysalis and Cozy... Uh, not Chris, yeah, 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 Chrysalis and then Cozy Girl. Well, it could be any order. Yeah, it could be... Yes, yeah, so basically the point is they're going to have a villain just... And it's going to culminate, I think, in Grogar at the end of the season. Yeah, so basically they're going to probably have Chrysalis af after they come back from the hiatus, but before they go into the hiatus, they're probably going to ha have Cozy Glow and Tyrek. Yeah, it could be any order. Like yeah, so I could see it. And been... it's not necessarily going to be evenly spaced throughout the season. No, I don't think it I mean, like, be. if you look back to some of the previous story arcs, like whenever there was a connecting story arc over the season, it wasn't necessarily consistent on when it appeared. Well, like, for example, the, the the items that connected to the Tree of Harmony, for example, the keys. Well, the interesting thing is, sometimes throughout the seasons, the previous seasons, they wouldn't even make it obvious there was an overarching storyline until the end when no. you noticed all these elements you thought weren't that important were. And then sometimes it was more obvious, like when you had a yeah. major villain that escaped at the beginning of the season. So this is quite interesting. So yeah, I think overall this is certainly... I will, yeah. This is definitely... I have a feeling that depending on how the execution of this season, it will definitely feel like the season to end all seasons. It was different to previous openings. That's it, what you want, Partly in the though. sense that we had villains appearing right from the start. So that's what you want, though. Although, I have to say, part of me is quite glad they got Sombra out of the way first, because of the established villains, he felt like the weakest. And I'm sorry, there was just something off about his voice. Like, he hasn't really had a proper voice in the show previously, apart from the odd word or two. It just didn't quite feel. It didn't. It didn't quite seat right with me. It didn't sound menacing enough. So it didn't sound like. It didn't sound stuff. sinister enough. You no, know, I think the term. It sounded almost it. campy in a way. <laughs> a campy. It sounded <laughs> almost campy in a way, like you know, like he was too happy with himself. 
Yeah, he seems to be a little bit overconfident, but then again, he's a villain. What do we I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to move away from, you know, the edgelord he was at the beginning of Season 3, but... Yeah, I think that's, as you say, that's probably not a bad idea, you know, to move away from that, but... Yeah. It's interesting to actually see um, Celestia and Luna actually doing something. Well, Luna was doing stuff before, it's just Celestia that wasn't. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they even called it out as well. I like. Yeah, that was a lovely meta moment. It's like, but to be honest, meta stuff is nothing new to this show. Well, no, but it's still nice that they did it, because it's something that everybody's been saying for a bloody while, almost like Spike being useless, except nowadays yeah. he isn't. Well, he was in this episode, but, but to be fair, let's be, give him some credit. This did kind of come out of blue, but... Well, yeah, but um, it's. I think right now, this is the, the, the main hype right now, among probably the majority of the fandom having watched this is how things are going to culminate at the end of the season. Like, how is this all going to end? Mate, I I'm just savouring this. I because... want to see every single character that's ever appeared in the show make an appearance at some point in the run-up or during the finale. No doubt even they will the, be doing Even that. the characters that haven't had a canonical appearance. I want to see Sunset Shimmer. I want to see Tempest. I want to see Queen Novo. I want to see all the stuff... <laughs> That wasn't in the main canonical show. Even if they don't have a voice actor. Even if they don't have a voice actor. Because yeah. I can see that happening where they... Oh yeah, I can't appear. see them getting Emily Blunt back for one episode. No. If they but managed to do that, now that would be fucking amazing. They refer to them in the show, so... If they managed to do that, it would be absolutely amazing, but I doubt they're going to be able to do that. I think it's going to come down to everyone versus everyone, ultimately. That's the way all to All the bad it. guys after all the, facing all the Yeah, or guys. possibly the reformed villains against the non-reformed villains in... A sense, but who knows? Who knows where Flim and Flam are going to be in that scene? Yeah, well, they even suggested it very briefly. Do Flim and Flam count? Yeah. As reformed? Yeah. But, um, I think they're called morally grey, is probably the term I would use. Yeah. Well, and, yeah, in an, anti heroes, you know, in the same sort of vein of Discord, only maybe not quite as on amicable terms. I think uh, Discord is actually better than. Oh, Discord is definitely an anti hero. No question, Discord dance. I like I, I like the fact that you could kind of tell that he was basically putting it. Oh yeah, well on it's, it's not. Where so he basically much, pretended much, to be ill. It's not so much you. Well, not ill, but pretended to be. It's not so defeated. much you could tell. It was just that you'd known him well enough at this point to know he was faking it. Hmm. But you knew the reason for him faking it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if we see the student six actually taking part next year. Well. I mean, because I, I hope they're not being used as a one-off no, season. No, no, no. I get the feeling. Uh, like, I, no, 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 no. I think we're going to see the student six plenty more times. Just maybe not necessarily in the finale, because they kind of had their moment to shine at the end of the last finale. Yeah, I kind of don't want them to be like a throwaway thing, though. No, I think they're still going to have plenty of appearances. But because I, what the be... thing is, it once a group of characters have kind of run their course in their story arc, you don't tend to see them as much. Like. We haven't seen as much of the CMCs being centrals ever since they got their kitty marks. Yeah, I suppose so, but I think it's, I think there's still more to develop on those characters. There is, but I think that the, I'd say them. I'd say they've got the majority of their development in by now. There's kinda, still more to go, like there was with the main six. But but the thing is, what I find with that is it's kind of like they're being used I'm not for only be a one dead season. End. I'm not saying it's going to be a dead end. I'm not saying it's a dead end either. I'm just saying it would be nice. It could still well be. I mean, they still get CMC episodes. They'll still have Student 6 episodes. But I suspect, ultimately, they are not the main characters. Mm, well, no. I think to Ultimately, be... it will be the main six. And if anything, this season's probably going to put the focus back on the main six. Where yeah. it all started. Well, to be fair, we did say that last season that most of the focus was taken away from the main six. Yeah, I think this season, I suspect, is going to put it back on the main six so that they can end it the way they oh, started. Oh, hang on a minute. Here's an idea. You know the major episodes will all focus on the main six, but the non-major ones may even focus on the student six? Yeah. There's a way of seeing that. Anyway, episode. I feel like we're getting slightly off topic from this episode, which is what we're meant to yeah, be. Yeah, but to be fair, this is a premiere episode, and there's a lot to talk about and a lot of potential here. So, yeah. you know, this kind of is all related, because the premiere episode much, opens this, the season to so there's well, a bit more I don't more know if there's conflict. much else we can discuss about this episode, because we kind of covered everything in the reaction itself. Hmm. Which is below, by the way. Yeah, click below. Please don't just... Assuming you're still watching this, of course. I'm sure we will, because most people who watch this thing and watch our videos nowadays are the people who watch it all the way to mm. So... Anyway, I feel like we... Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, by the way. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Because we often do discussions, but we also do the... Comments. Please subscribe. We're, we... I mean, 
No, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be a subscriber whore by asking can we make it to to 2,000 by the end of the season. Well, it'd be nice for once because we probably we'd won't be. be we we'd probably be... won't be able to have major leaps after the season has ended. Well, you never know. You <laughs> never know. We might be able to pick up audiences elsewhere, but it's not about the subscribers. We've yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. It's just about doing. What we're just about... playing into the meme. Of it's it. about doing what we like and giving our opinions on it and just seeing what other people think. Yeah, well, this is basically us giving our opinion, and what would you give for the score for the video? Yeah, oh, the scores, the... yeah, I must have forgot. <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, it, I think it was far from the best premiere the show has had, but far from the worst as well, so... I don't know, I'd maybe give it a 7, I think? I would give it more than a 7, I think I It wasn't, it wasn't, no, it, wasn't, wasn't give... it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't absolutely brilliant either. It had a, it had its moments, I think it's going to be leading the majority of, of it was kind of stuff you were expecting. It was, I think... I think the, I would give it, it about... I would give it, I would have given it an 8 if it wasn't quite as predictable. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I would say I would give it about a 7 point. Point five, but that's because I can see that it's going to have a wider context, and there's a lot more things that could be will come yeah. from this episode. This is setting up the season, that's what I mean. I say, I so I can see this being a little bit more. Yeah, you I'll know. say I would have given it a higher score if it wasn't so predictable. Like the moment a problem presented itself, you immediately knew for the most part what the solution was going to be. Uh, well, apart from the bit where they were stuck in the those. Apart from cars, that, like I can say the majority. I, I tell you what, I am glad the that they didn't just the jump to a MacGuffin at that point. No, true. You know, <laughs> just <laughs> or, digging uh, their way out. Well, to me, that seems to be a better way of. Sometimes the simplest solution is. Which the best. not only that, it's the fact that I was afraid they were going to do a Deus Machia or whatever the hell they say. You know, like God Machine essentially, or something along that line. So, uh, a Larson X Machina. Yeah, basically <laughs> that. But anyway, as I say, I. Um, well, yeah, so I think they're about 7.5. Or as Discord would say, a reindeer ex machina. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I think we've talked enough about yeah. this. Uh, hope yeah. we haven't bored you too much. Um, you know, so if uh, we've already said all Yeah, and I hope I wasn't too annoying in the commentary because I can guarantee there'll be at least some people in the comments that will have thought that because that's the way it always goes. Oh, don't worry, mate. Anyway, um, no, I no. Trust me, they're just the haters. Just dab on the haters. Anyway, I'm not dabbing. It's 2019 for God's sake. I'm still going to dab. <laughs> anyway, Do I'm sorry. I'll break your arm. <laughs> you want some, mate? <laughs> okay, stop going full Yorkshire. Anyway, anyway, I'm Starlight Flux, and I'm Tip Top, and I'm also quite tired. <laughs> anyway, yeah, because it's about. It's currently. 10.45 p.m. here, we've got a long day. Right, anyway. So, yeah. See you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye.